converting between mixed numbers and improper fractions on the old and the new style Casio calculators. Convert 8 thirds into a mixed number. So 8 thirds is what we call a top heavy fraction and I can type that in easily enough on the old calculator. I'm just going to press the 8 for the numerator, then the fraction key and then the 3 for the denominator. Okay, and then we're going to press equal so it appears on the bottom right display. And then to convert it into a mixed number, I'm going to press the shift key up here and then I'm going to press a symbolic to decimal key. You'll see above the, the symbolic to decimal key, it's got A, B, C in a, in a mixed number format and an arrow pointing to the A over C. That's meant to show the conversion between a mixed number and a proper fraction. And if I press the key, you can see it's going to rewrite it as two and two thirds. Over on the new Casio calculator, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press the eight first for the numerator, then the fraction key, and then I'm going to type in the denominator of a three and then I'm going to press the execute button. Now on this calculator, it immediately turns it into a mixed number. I've got it as two and two thirds on the screen. Its standard format is in a, as a mixed number. So that one is a little bit easier. Back to the old Casio, and I now want to convert a mixed number, two and three sevenths, into an improper fraction. Okay, so to type that in, I'm going to press the two button and then I'm going to press the shift key and then the fraction button. You'll see above the fraction key you've got the layout for a mixed number. So you can see the two becomes the main number and then I've got two boxes for the rest of the fraction. So I'm going to type the three in the top box and I'm going to press the down arrow and I'm going to press the seven in the bottom box. Pressing equals you can see this calculator immediately converts that into an improper fraction and I get 17 over 7. On the new Casio, doing the same thing, press the two first, then the shift key, then the fraction key, gives me the setup for the mixed number. I'm gonna press the three now to fill in the numerator and then the down key and then the seven to write in the denominator. Pressing execute shows me that as a mixed number still and on this one, I now need to press the format key and change it into an improper fraction and that gives me 17 over seven. Subscribe to Mr. Tomkins EdTech for more useful calculator videos.